the principles of Azimio. His Excellency Kalonzo Musioka and Right Honorable Raila Odinga, you are the leaders that we recognize as leaders of Azimio. And today, you've heard the voice of 16 members of Azimio. Wamesema, they have chosen this person. And the courts have, have upheld that decision. So now it's back to you, Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musioka. Are you going to respect that decision? Are you going to respect the voice of 16 members of Azimio? And let this country move forward. Or you are going to hold the country back. Because you want your own people to sit in that selection panel. The court, the ball is now on your court as well. And the whole country, indeed the whole world, is watching you. Asante. Uh. Asante, 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 Ewe Mungu. Asante, Asante, Asante sana. Thank you very much. My name is Augustus Muli. I'm the party leader of National Liberal Party. Leon is sick with furaha sana. Not only for our party, not only for myself, but also for my party, National Liberal Party, but also for 16 members of Azimio, 16 parties within Azimio that voted for me. And that vote had been uh, played around, had been, today the courts have uh, upheld my victory. They have declared me the winner to, to represent Azimio in the selection IBC selection panel. So Kwanza ni furaha sana, uh, very grateful to the courts for doing what is right, for upholding justice. It's very fair, unfair when you say uh, somebody has won 16 votes against seven, and then Mutumangina nakuja anabadilisha hiyo. So we are grateful that the truth has been upheld. This country is not about power, it's not about might, it's not about wewe ni nani katika hii inchi. Na leo koti imetuolisha hivo. A smaller party, consider small. By, by, some peop, by some elements. Because we are considered small, some people thought they can take our win. Lakini koti ime kata, ime uphold justice. And this is what we need in this country going forward. We want a selection panel ambayo itachagua the best commissioners for this country. If we are to start prejudice, if we are to start uh, an, um, uh, in the way that Azimio had gone, kutumia mambavu, kutumia, kutumia nguvu, what kind of commissioners would we have got? But we are happy that justice is coming. Justice is being seen today. And I, want, I for one want to promise that I will stand for justice. I'll be a very objective uh, panelist and I will ensure that the commissioners that we choose for this country are going to be people of integrity. Watu ambao watakikisha Kuwa Kenya inandambele. We are not going to accept corruption anymore. We are not going to accept corrupt commissioners, people who are going to, to let this country go back to those years of darkness. So Nashikuru Sana, I want to thank all those parties who stood with me, all those members of National Liberal Party who stood with me, my own family that stood with me in these very, very difficult times. A lot of people came to intimidate us, they came to push us, they came to, to say a lot of things, but justice has been seen today and now the ball is has been pushed back to the president let the president now um, form the selection panel uh, let us go forward and give this country what it needs it needs IBC commissioners right now the, 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 the commission has to be ready anything can happen God forbid we are not ready for that eventuality let the president now take reins let him in uh, start this selection panel Twende tuchagwe ma commissioner ambao watafanya kazi nchietu. Asante sana. Oh, nataka kunishikia. Thank you very much. Ama shukia. Well, from that, uh, uh, ah, yes. enjoy, enjoy. Okay. My name is uh, Ochieng Walukwe. I was one among the lawyers who stood for justice in this cause. And today in a monumental decision, the court has upheld democracy.
the court has upheld representation of the people. The court has upheld uh, constitutionalism because in its decision by PPDT, the court has held that uh, an election that is done by way of universal suffrage cannot be subjected to boardroom discussions and decisions. Yes. The court has upheld that uh, once someone has subjected themselves to the people to be elected by universal suffrage, that they cannot subsequently purport to overturn uh, the voice of the people through other means. And it is very important that the court has also upheld that it has jurisdiction to hear and determine a dispute between a member of a coalition and the coalition partner. And in this particular case, Dr. Muli had proved that he had attempted to talk to Azimio coalition and tell them that what they were doing was wrong, what they were doing was unconstitutional, but in, uh, because they wanted uh, to chest thumb and to show Dr. Muli that he belongs from a small party uh, that cannot uh, by any means uh, uh, be considered to sit in this IEBC selection panel, that whatever they did was unconstitutional. And we thank the PPDT. Of course, we understand uh, that uh, the decision of the court might sting uh, these people who want to play politics in boardrooms and subject it to the people. What I want to tell them is that you must hear the voice of the people. You cannot purport to uh, put aside 16 votes from coalition partners. You are coalition partners. These are not coalition partners that have been picked off the streets. They are you are coalition partners. 16 political parties made a determination and a decision by the vote, secret ballot, that they have identified the best candidate to sit as a member of the IBC selection panel against seven, then you want to overturn that in a boardroom. Listen to the voice of the people because the voice of the people is the voice of God. Amen. Yes. So let us move forward. Stop this hanky-panky if you want us to remain united as a coalition. Yes. Thank you very much. <coughs> My call now is to the principles of Azimio. His Excellency Kalonzo Musioka and Right Honorable Raila Odinga. You are the leaders that we recognize as leaders of Azimio. And today, you've heard the voice of 16 members of Azimio. Wamesema, they have chosen this person. And the courts have, have upheld that decision. So now it's back to you, Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musioka. Are you going to respect that decision? Are you going to respect the voice of 16 members of Azimio? And let this country move forward. Or you are going to hold the country back. Because you want your own people to sit in that selection panel. The court, the ball is now on your court as well. And the whole country, indeed the whole world, is watching you. Asanteni.